I don't know about you, but I love a bargain. And there's a place that I find that you can find not only really cheap, stylish and affordable decor and furniture pieces, but there's a way you can make some extra money too. And this video is all about that. On today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I take these boring, plain, classic bedsides that I found at my local thrift shop for $30 and transforming them into something pretty modern and spectacular. So if you wanna learn how to flip furniture either for a profit or just for your own home and making it more stylish and personal to you, then this is the video for you, so continue watching. So these are the bedsides I'll be working on today and you can see that they had great potential. They are made of MDF, so I couldn't really sand it down or do anything to expose any timber because there wasn't any. So I thought chalk paint would be the best solution to just give it a really clean, quick and easy makeover. And if I choose the right color and the right hardware combination, I think I could potentially get $150 to $200 profit on it. So that's the hope for this bedside flip. You can see that the drawers slide out really well. There weren't any huge visible dents or scratches or marks. So in terms of time and cost, this would be really low and really quick. My first step is to remove all the original hardware and I couldn't seem to find my screwdriver so I used a blunt butter knife to unscrew these original knobs. With all the hardware now removed, I can get on to the next step and the most important step and that's cleaning. So I'm just using an all purpose cleaner just to remove all the dirt and grime and oils as it was pretty old and it did have a lot of dust and dirt collected on these pieces. So I'm just going in through the sides and the tops and underneath the feet and on the back as well. Once that cleaning is all done, I'll just let it dry for an hour and then move on to the next step and that's the painting. Here I'm just showing you a side by side of the difference between the first coat of chalk paint and the second. The first always feels a little bit splotchy and uneven, but don't fear, you get to the second coat, you can see the coverage becomes really good. When working with bedsides, it can be quite handy to just flip over the bedsides and paint it with the feet in the air. With the bedsides now all dry and painted, we can move on to the final step and that is getting on to the waxing of the chalk paint. So the waxing is really important because what it's going to do is harden and give a really nice protective sheen and coat to the chalk paint finish. And with the wax, you want to let it cure for a few days before putting anything on top of it.
So this flip was amazingly quick. All it took was about under two hours, and that is including the cleaning, the painting of the two coats, the waxing, the staging, and the listing as well. So if you're wanting to make a bit of extra money, or maybe just want to load a hobby and craft on the side, this is definitely a skill that you can do any time of the day. The only difficulty I had was in deciding which style of decorative knob to use. This is a detail that can add uh, quite a lot of value and give you better profits in your flips as well. So sometimes if you're not too sure, you can always wait till the end of your painted piece to see what hardware would work best. And that's what I did in this case here. And without further ado, let me give you the reveal. I absolutely adore how these bedsides turned out. The grey blue colouring worked perfectly. It was a really nice neutral that I think could work in anyone's kind of space and style. And going with the floral decorative knob with that little hint of green, I think just added something a little bit special as well. So let's break down the costings on this flip. So the bedsides themselves for the pair cost $30, and I'd say materials for the paint and the wax were about $10. The biggest cost, and what I would call an investment on this flip, were the new decorative hardware pieces. So these pieces are actually called Hera, and actually are from my own collection on my website, Renewed Living Studios, and I'll link that for you below. These knobs were $7 each, and that brings it to a total of $42. So I'm all in at $82 for this flip. And I ended up listing this piece for $280 and it amazingly sold in 24 hours for the full asking. So this gives me an incredible $198 profit. Not bad for two hours, hey? If you enjoyed this flip and makeover, give it a thumbs up and subscribe below if you want to stay tuned for more makeovers and amazing flips. Thanks for watching and see you next time.